got my whippy cord me in, schnitty. Got into the container. <laughs> and let loose on it. Bruh. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so the plan for today is a few different things. First off, we're gonna start with some whippersnippering because to be honest, I haven't whippersnipped for, bro, it would be about two months. So the reason for that is I've actually done something to my back um, and part of my spine is pushing on the disc and every time I whippersnip, unfortunately it sets it off and I can't walk for the next day or two. Um, but, been going to the chiropractor, shout out to Ryan, um, and it seems to be on the mend. So one thing that I had been doing was, I whip a snip left-handed, a lot of you guys have seen that um, and made comments on it on videos. Um, and that seems to be upsetting my back. So we're going right-handed, this is gonna feel really weird, but it should be better for my back. Using the Toro whip snipper, cause it's lighter, so it's gonna be a little bit better for my back. The only thing I would say is it's a little bit short, so sometimes it feels like you have to lean over, so I just have to be cautious of that and um, make sure I've got it further out just so it's a little bit more comfortable to hold out like that. Um, but let's get this going um, and give this Toro a run for his money, man. So as you can see, pretty good whippersnipper. Um, very quiet, which is awesome because it is battery pack. Very light as well. Um, I'm actually just gonna go to the shed and move this handle back a bit so I feel like I can reach out more and I'll put pressure on my back. But, um, what was I gonna say? Who knows me? Oh, yeah, also today, we been putting some fertilizer out on the Kaikiwa at the front, give you guys an update on that, see how the weeds are going. Um, I don't know, we'll see, that might be it. We might do something else. We'll see what the day brings. I love it. Right, that's all done. Hopefully you guys can hear me because it is very windy today. I was trying to block that wind from smashing me. Um, as you can see, Kaki is still looking good. Hardly growing because of that plant growth regulator. Hey, Schnitty. Hello, what you doing? Um, but it's looking good. It's looking really, really good. We've got a slight, slight, slight bit of herbicide burn on this because I did mow the day before, um, which it generally says don't mow, mow a couple of days in between, but hardly any herbicide burn, I'll show you. Just the tips of the leaf. I've discolored a little bit. So if you look just here, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but you can just see the tips of the leaf. Shitty. <laughs> get over there, bro. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, see if I can get a bit. So you can see, here we go. Down the bottom there, it's discolored quite a bit. Shitty. I'm trying to show people something. Watch out, watch out. Oi. So as you can see, I'm gonna stand up. That's a pretty smart thing to do. You can see there's a little bit of yellow on there. Not much, just a little bit on the tips of the leaf. Um, 
and through here you really can't see much to be honest there's not really much at all so slight bit of burn and I'd, I'd say that's because I put I mean I mowed actually I mowed the morning of yeah I mowed just before I sprayed it so there you go but it didn't really do too much as you can see still looking good good bit of color um, going to give it a quick mow now and then I'm going to put out some fertilizer something with some higher K in it um, to set this thing up for the winter time and just give it a final fert for the season which is kind of sad to be honest so we're doing final fert now which means you can tell it's autumn because some of the trees out the back are starting to drop the leaves which is a bit sucky anyway that's the way it rolls but I'm um, glad I got the whipper snipping done smashed it that Toro um, thing is nice and light which is awesome I do love it um, but yeah lawn is looking good as you can see definitely has that look of having PGR like it's nice and tight and looks really really good nice bit of color anyway let's give it a cut um, what do you reckon buddy let's give it a cut might give it a single possibly a double we'll just see how it's looking oh I've got to show you guys the weeds too what am I doing so weeds let's have a look where is some of the here we go so here's some of the clover here you can see it's all turned up and it's got quite a bit of burn on it as well and it is starting to stand up and die off um, now it is a little bit cooler now so this may take yeah, it looks quite sick um, it can take up to seven days 14 days when it's a little bit cooler like it is our night temps are below 10 degrees now and our day temps are only just hitting 20 degrees Celsius so it is a little bit cooler um, but that is all dying off now which is awesome um, and the past palin was going to start turning in for winter as well in my climate here now someone made a comment last week that past palin doesn't die off um, during the winter it depends on where you live and your climate so here in orange um, it definitely does die off and goes and then comes back again in the springtime um, if you're in Queensland or something like that it probably does survive the whole time which is why getting in a pre-emergent program is important um, and then obviously if you can pull it out with some of those Fiskar pullers from Bunnings or Hoslink sell some as well um, or as I said painting it with some glyphosate is probably your only other option anyway enough blabbing let's go single cut I got nearly a full catcher off the thing which in all honesty which isn't much um, man it is looking good though it is looking tight and tidy as like it looks schmick like the leaf blade that I'm cutting off cutting hardly anything off um, but the lawn <clears throat> look at that guys that is just looking pure at the moment like absolutely pure so tidy but row now if you got a cylinder mower and you see areas like this well you probably can't even see it on camera to be honest so since i'm cutting on a slope sometimes it does slightly come in a little bit lower on this side the way to fix that is just mowing two different directions and it will tidy that up pretty well now i could give this another cut again but i want to get this fur out this morning get some water on it water it in um so let's go get the bag of fur let's get it down so today we're putting out this fertilizer here this is my lawn tips proliferate it's called so this is great for newly seeded areas and also for autumn fertilizing as well because of our high k so it's an 11 for 12 now similar sort of microbes as the lawn tips dominate they talked about in my previous videos where it's really beneficial for your soil and you're going to get more out of your fertilizer as well because of those microbes that are in this blend just here which is awesome now you can see everything that's included on the label 10.5% nitrogen 4.2% um, phosphorus 12.1% potassium 4.6% sulfur 0.8% iron it's got a bit of iron in there got 10.3% calcium 0.4% magnesium 7.2% carbon and then 3.7% silicon right so our rate here is going to be we're going to put it down at 2 kilos per 100 square meters today um, and then we make sure we apply irrigation straight after this as well as you always do with your granular fertilizers don't apply granular ferts 
to wet grass or wet soil either because the prills can burst and burn your lawn. Uh, I've seen it happen on golf greens in the past um, when I was working on the golf course. Not fun when your grass burns and it burns pretty dang quickly as well. You'll see it within the hour depending on what vert you're using and how high the nitrogen is. But put this out today, might actually go a little bit higher rate and go the three kilos. I want this just to kick along for a little bit longer. Um, this lawn here as well will kick on a little bit longer than the places in town because we are just that little bit warmer out here and we don't really get frosts like they do in town. So I'm interested to see how long this stays green for. It will go dormant, no doubt in my mind, um, but I'll see how long we can push it for. So let's put this out now. Um, and that will be, yeah, about it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is all done. Let's get the water on it. All right, that's all done. So I'll let that run for about half an hour each spot and that'll be enough to water that bad boy in. Um, I think that's really about it for this video. So thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that if you guys did. Um, and obviously I'll keep you guys updated on the car queue. Part three plans are starting to come into place. We, we stepped out where we want to put the electrical um, for this bore pump. Um, the guys are coming to install it soon. I'll start digging trenches. I was going to do it this week, but guys from Hutchin and Pierce are swapping out the skid skid to another one. So I'll wait for that to turn up. And then I think we'll start doing some trenching. Could be next week. See how we go. That means things are just starting to kick into place, which is just awesome. Very, very excited for that. But thanks guys so much. Appreciate yours. And I'll see you guys in the next vid.